Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Vein disease is a very common problem. It can be painful and unsightly, but the good news is that treatment options are so much better than they used to be. That's right. Dr. James Garidi is with Vein Clinics of America, and he's here along with Jen Long, who has more details about insurance coverage for different treatments. And I think that's going to sound really good to people to know that a lot mm -hmm. of times they can have insurance cover different things for them. So before we get to that, let's just start with the basics of what vein disease is and what you guys do. Sure. Uh, vein disease is a situation where the elastic in the vein wall just gives out. And so rather than the vein functioning normally, it starts malfunctioning. And as the vein malfunctions, it, uh, it becomes more unsightly, which people are often worried about. But it also, also causes a, a variety of different symptoms, including uh, pain and achiness and heaviness and a variety of other things. Mm -hmm. Which is a good reason to get it treated. And speaking of, of treatment, there are a lot of really good options available for people these days, right? Yeah, all the treatments these days uh, are done in the office. Uh, there are no cuts, there are no scars, normal activity afterwards. Uh, I always tell folks I do have to poke you with some needles so it's not a massage, but overall <laughs> it's, it's very, very tolerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, and some people, you know, feel a little bit different. I told you in the past, I've had sclerotherapy, and, and the sclerotherapy that I had didn't hurt at all. Okay. You know, it was a little bit of a sting, and that was it, and it didn't bother me. Um, so I, for me, I'm, I'm a big advocate of taking, taking care of it. What causes it, though? You know, we've, we've kind of broken down before. Is it the crossing of the legs? Is it, you know, if you're a waitress, you know, just being on your feet more? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are those true? You know, um, the, the short answer is probably not. Okay. Um, it's probably a genetic issue with the elastic in the vein wall. If the elastic isn't built right, the veins are going to stretch. And then a lot of different activities that you might do, let's say long standing or pregnancies or maybe even some, uh, some intense cardio workouts or stuff like that, probably put a little extra pressure on the vein that isn't built right. And uh -huh. then the vein stretches. So it's probably mostly a genetic issue with the elastic with some other environmental factors thrown in. That makes sense. And are these treatments usually covered? A lot of the deep treatments are covered. The, ba the basic thing is to do is to come in for an evaluation, find out what's going to happen if there's something deeper going on versus just on the surface. And a lot of insurance companies do cover those deeper issues. Mm -hmm. How do you determine that? Do you just hand over your card and you'll do the work? Exactly. You give us your really? insurance information. We'll call, check benefits, let you know what your benefits are as far as out-of-pockets and deductibles, things like that. And some what policies, what we'll cover. Mm -hmm. so at the same time. What about if, if, if you find out that insurance doesn't cover it, what other options, are there other payment options that you can work out with patients? Yes, um, we do offer discounts for patients that do not have coverage through insurance and then we also use what we call care credit. It's basically a interest-free credit card that patients can take out for a lump sum and use it to pay for treatment and then pay that back in interest-free. Mm -hmm. And that's really just for medical stuff, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And it's a medical credit card basically with an interest-free interest and there's other places that do accept it as well besides just us. That's great. You know, one thing people really, I know you encourage them to do is come in and just meet with you. You can't diagnose something over the phone. You can't diagnose it at home, you know, just by symptoms or looking. So you really need to go in and see a professional. You do free consultations to we meet with people. We do. And, and one of the challenges also is a lot of the stuff that you might see on the surface is just on the surface. Yeah. And there can be some uh, malfunctioning veins under the surface that maybe haven't bulged through and caused you to see the big bulgy varicose vein, but can be malfunctioning and causing symptoms. So part of the consultation is usually going to be an ultrasound check to make sure that those bigger, deeper veins are working normally. And that way we have an idea of what we need to deal with. Mm -hmm. If someone does have kind of an advanced problem, how much do you require do they usually require multiple treatments yeah I, I always tell folks um, no matter what we do we're going to work on one part of the leg and let it heal up and see what's left and then work on the next part let it heal up see what's left and and the multiple visits um, I think that's the most comprehensive way to deal with it mm -hmm. but it is kind of a hassle yeah mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. does the what does the ultrasound detect is that 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 must be a way to detect something that you can't see on the skin the surface level yeah, um, basically, like I said, when the elastic gives out, the vein starts to stretch. When the vein stretches, you have these little one-way valves that just don't work anymore. Mm -hmm. And we can actually see those valves and see whether they're working or not. Okay. What do patients say to you afterward? You know, when they come in, they've maybe lived with it their whole life. They haven't worn shorts gardening or golfing or out with their girlfriends, or they have and they were just uncomfortable, you know, or they just gave up the thought of their legs ever looking like they did when they were youthful. 
Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny you ask that because a, a lot of those things are the case where it was either they didn't look like they had wanted to or they yeah. didn't feel like they wanted to. And almost universally, one of the very first things people say is, I wish I would have done this sooner. Mm -hmm. that's, that's almost mm -hmm. always, yeah. Yeah, especially because now you can do it um, in office um, and, and the recovery time is so much faster. It's really a reason not to, to let it go. Yeah, there's no question. Again, in the old days when all you had was stripping and you were down and out for weeks and weeks, it was really a rough thing to recover from. Almost everybody knows somebody who had that done, so they're really nervous. Um, and a lot of people think it's just cosmetic, and so they may put it off for a long time. Um, but again, a lot of these things are covered, and so coming in and, and getting it at least evaluated sooner really does seem to be a nice option. Yeah, no obligation with the free yeah. consultations None. that you offer, which is fantastic. So you can come in for a free consultation with Vane Clinics of America. Again, that's complimentary at their Brookfield office um, through the end of the year. There are some restrictions, so you should just call or visit them online. For more information or to schedule an appointment, you can call 866-618-VANE, which is 8346, or go to vaneclinics.com. Great to see you both. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, Thank you, so Thank much. you very much. Nice job. After the break,